Now acceleration is very important in an underhand cast because what we create between the rod tip and the water surface is a D loop. The line comes in behind you and forms a D. Now in a D loop we have active and we have passive line. When I'm doing a roll cast for instance I have a very shallow D loop and it's really difficult to get power into my cast. If I want to do this roll cast I really have to push it forward to get the line out of the water and that is because I don't have very much line behind the rod but if I make an underhand cast I have much more line behind me and it's easier to cast and get power into the line. Let me show you. you raise, you do an acceleration and we stop and it's easy to cast and we have a lot of power and speed in the line. It's really important to get much active line into your D-loop and that means that you have to have very little line on the water and very much in the air between the rod tip and the water. If you can see here that this one is very soft so I get a very soft D-loop and not much power. If I add acceleration and stop the line comes much further back I get much more active line and much more power in my cast and this is where many fly casters they go wrong they do not get enough acceleration into their backwards cast when they're underhand casting. 